Hey, Bobby, good morning. Um, you and I started working together just a few months ago, but clicked immediately as two sales leaders who have this quirky habit of using discovery follow-up emails as a primary coaching tool. And I'd love for our audience to hear, why do you see follow-up emails as such a powerful coaching tool? Yeah, Brent, as you and I have talked about, you can see in about 30 seconds, the quality of a discovery call by reviewing that buying roadmap email. The best discovery meetings start with a discovery on the buyer's why, what goal is leading them to talk to you? What are they hoping to accomplish? Then they move to a tailored discussion of their specific product capabilities that map to the buyer's goal. They end by securing a commitment to the next meeting and buyer actions to make sure the next meeting is a good one. The best follow-up emails follow the same structure. They start with the buyer success statement, offer a short summary on aligned capabilities, and then end with the committed next step along with the next meeting date. The email doesn't lie, Brent. You either learn these things or you didn't. I love that. The email doesn't lie. <laughs> Uh, that's a great summary of why follow-up emails are such a great coaching tool. And you mentioned how they also connect the first meeting to the second meeting. Say, say more about that. So the best meetings with a buying, road, a buying group start with the, with the recap of discovery to date. Often this might be the first slide in the deck to the group. The discovery to date slide is a great way to very quickly gauge the alignment that there is between the buying group around their goals and their success statement that came from your initial discovery meeting. Yeah, I love it. So it's really about using that follow-up email and then connecting it to the deck to make sure everybody's lined up on the success statement. Uh, what's the win for them and what actions will they take to secure that win or secure the value? Thanks so much for your time today, Bobby. You got it.